Hello there and welcome back to Diablo 3 where I'm playing as a monk. Last episode I did a few, I guess you call them side quests. Uh, story quests for the Templar and the Scoundrel about their backstory. Went to the Templar's Templar Order and found out it's all corrupt. And found out that the Scoundrel's brother has died in prison. And we took out the Thieves Guild for doing that. With that done, we're going to speak to Miriam now, the artisan, about what to do next regarding the actual campaign. Cheldor, I know how to find Malthale, but you will not like what I have to tell you. That does not matter. There is only one person who knows how to find Malthale. She waits for you in the blood marsh, and you know her well. Adria. Adria. Adria is not as you remember her. She is channeling blood magic to prepare herself to retrieve the Black Soul Stone. What exactly does that mean? Some things cannot be explained. You must see them for yourself. Why do I bother speaking with you? You have no sense of adventure. What else can I tell you? I had a vision of death blanketing our world. So I left my people, my family, to come help you. It cannot have been as easy as you make it sound. Nonsense. We veteran often receive visions telling us when it is time to find a new family. I've had many in my life. I still love and miss each and every one of them. Except for Jonah. I never really liked that one. Alright, so... Apparently, Adria, who still lives, knows where Malthiel will be. We gotta find her. Death comes to all. I really don't get the talking soul stone, it's just... The angels do nothing to help us. Why? There is confusion and dissension in the High Heavens. You must remember, Malfair was our leader once, but no longer. Can you not summon the armies of Heaven? Imperius commands the host, and he will not unleash them on a fellow angel, especially a former member of the Angiris Council. Imperius. Of course. Oh, Imperius. Wasn't the most helpful angel, was he? Okay. You're not going anywhere without me. I'm not? Why? Someone has to make sure you don't kill Adria before you find out where Malthael is. Follow me if you like, but Adria will die. Loreth now is following me. I have killed Urzael and destroyed the Reapers. The people of Westmarch can begin to rebuild. Lorath and I now go to the Blood Marsh. Adria is there, and she knows how to find Maldiel. Once she tells me where he is, I will end her life. So there's no subtlety there. We want to kill Adria. We hid the Black Soul Stone in the deepest part of the Nephilim ruins near here. We thought it would be safe. But Malthiel found it all the same. I consider myself an expert on all matters concerning Boggits. The Boggit itself is a small, odd creature given to foraging and burrowing. Under normal circumstances, it fears humans. But it can be incited to great violence when under the influence of magical objects. Rings in particular seem to excite them. Boggits. Pretty cool, eh? These little guys. So it looks like I found the right way already. This is the entrance to the tomb, but someone's collapsed it. Adria. It looks like we'll have to find another way into the ruins. What was that? More buckets. Give 
sick of you, maybe? Where's along this ghost hall? No, only 15. We got tusk with the modules now. This was just one entrance to the city. There are guide stones littered across the blood marsh that will lead us to the main one. The guide stones are useless to most, but will reveal the correct path to a Nephilim such as yourself. The Tusk Boggan is a ferocious, hulking beast with an exceedingly bad temper. Aided by packs of Boggits, it will fight anything that crosses its path. Invariably, some of the Boggits will die, but the survivors are rewarded with scraps left over from the Boggan's prey. If only my assistance would work for so little. Alright, so we're taking an alternative route by the Blood Marsh. I will still catch you. Remember to get the information you need before you. I will. I do kind of like the Blood Marsh. The Blood Marsh. It's an interesting layout. Pretty cool design. Looks evil enough. Nothing happens when I approach it. Allow me. Now, Adria Satchel is here with her journal part one. The first time I saw a witch, she burned. Father took me to the town square to see it. Look, he said, that is the face of evil. But she looked like any other woman and burned like anything else. Then the flames engulfed her. Her eyes found mine. And she laughed. Mm, it's a bit of backstory about probably what made how you become a witch. There are four entrances to the Nephilim city, each one etched with a sigil. Only the correct one marks the true entrance to the tomb, however. When you activate these stones, one of the wrong sigils disappears. Alright, look there, fine. Two more of those things. It's kind of similar to Canyon of the Margin, back in Book 2 of Diablo 2, where you got a, there were seven tombs there. You had to find the right one. Be a similar thing going on. What's that? Mega Fruit. I don't have enough spirit. Fairly large. Searching for the Maggot Brood has been quite an adventure. I first observed the corpse of one near the road to Westmarch, where it raised such a stench that my new assistant vomited twice on my favorite traveling cloak. The stains came out eventually, but I was sorely vexed. So hang on my map over here, that's another stone. It's not fire and it's not wind. Find another guide stone. Ah, one right next door. Sigil is the correct one. That made it easy. I now know which sigil marks the correct passage. Pass the leaf passage is the right one. Seems too far away. Not enough spirit. The Boggan Trapper's snares are surprisingly effective, though I have no idea how they learn to fashion them. Most of the Boggan's feeble intelligence seems to be centered around killing and eating, and in this respect, their efforts are admirable. Hmm, perhaps I should hide one of these snares near my tent when I'm sleeping. There's a warning cave here, so we'll look inside. I think I'm making pretty good time so far for this quest. I don't have enough spirit. Break beneath the endless tide. I'm trying to keep this messy going. It cannot be done. Not enough spirit. Ha! A vicious threat. I made a new record. 
I will not oh, do that. 131 kill massacre. That's impressive. I enjoy that. There should be a big chest out here. What's the idea of these little side caves? Sure, have at least one gold chest. This place actually That's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Champions, take care of them. The flaws are revealed. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. In an event. Not enough spirit. Two of his followers. They go kill Gruul, which is this guy. He was the Bogan Overlord, apparently. Okay, I'm guessing that's what this one is all about. Now to get out of here. Well, usually, the actual chest will have a portal next to it to get out. Cannot be done. Your strength fails. I need spirit. I will not do that. But a good run through there. Let's carry on with um, what I'm meant to be doing. It's the cave of the leaf is up here. Quarrel is a new bog grandfather. Strike. Right, so this, this is the right cave. Is the passage I've been searching for. Passage to Corvus. Some ghost top enemies. The Grand Dragons are unlike any spirits I have seen on Sanctuary. They bear a resemblance to lesser demons, but the souls of demons are always reborn in the hells. I suspect the phantasms may be the remnants of some early Nephilim. Those born more demon than angel. Why do you suppose the Nephilim desired secrecy so much? Alright. Got any helmets? I just changed my skills slightly. Yep, and we've got some new enemies. Explore the ancient ruins outside Westmarch, and then I realized they were crawling with dreadful scarabs. Of course, these creatures do not frighten me, but they make my research much too time consuming, and I am widely known for my efficiency, am I not? The Testament of Rakis, Part 1. I have uncovered an obscure and ancient tome in whose pages is recorded an impossible tale. The secret history of a race called the Nephilim. God, I 
another name, and their ruined civilization in the West. If this is true, how could all signs of these Nephilim be lost, but for the record of this single tome? The enemies, the uh, flesh gorges, are pretty cool. I don't know if you've those, are shame before. The flesh shaman was created from the blood of the witch Adrian. Because of that, the shaman is able to use magic as she does, channeling the power of blood and fire. Luckily, Adria only has so much blood to shed, and not so much of it. God's threat to me! My shaman, that was pretty cool. I mean, design around here is pretty good. Oh, okay. They kind of look like demons. I feel like a lot of the new design of the demons, especially in Act 4, they kind of look like demons, they look more like xenomorphs. Your flaws are revealed! Um, Tempest Rush Rune. New passive. Nah. I will bring that down. Champion Scarabs! Puzzle here, go open these seals. Yeah. I was exploring the cave, but I was making good time, but now. Cave took a bit more time out of me than I thought it was going to. Open the big chest. Dead ends. Test with the brackets, part two. The Nephilim were not gods, but our own ancestors, gifted with long life, magic, and abilities far beyond ours. Yet they were still men. I, I wonder if these pages hold the key to unlock their powers once again. Your flaws are revealed!
One thing I've noticed, I've noticed before, but I haven't mentioned yet, is these little spirit totems. I should use them as weapons. If there's enemies nearby, you break the spirit totem. The spirit comes out and actually freezes them and damages them. Interesting. I think it does overly much damage, but kill those ones. There's the mark of the leaf. There's a waypoint. I might. I might actually end it here, because no, I'm getting a bit late. I'm not sure how far away Adria is going to be. So we'll go back to the Enclave. We've got some two new rings then. None of them are overly handy though. Ah, so I've replaced a legendary helmet just with a normal rare one. Uh, next episode, I'll come back and we'll find Adria once and for all. So, I don't know, I like those zeros. Good part of the game, this one. I think it's good design. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. As always, I hope to see you all next time.